Okay, third type of reaction we're going to talk about from chapter 6. Nitrogen containing nucleophiles and how they react with carbon yields. So every single time I see a nitrogen uh, nucleophile reacting with a carbonyl, I just think of this, it's a bit, it's a quick and easy way to convert a carbonyl to an imine. Okay, so we have a carbonyl, the nitrogen is going to do some nucleophilic attack. You're going to get your tetrahedral intermediate. Um, noticed that I drew really small equilibrium arrows. That's because this tetrahedral intermediate, it's not very stable. So it's either going to collapse to form the ketone or the aldehyde, whatever you were looking, whatever your starting material was, or you're going to form the imine uh, species, okay? So going back to the nucleophile, the more available nitrogen attacks, you get your tetrahedral intermediate, and then in going from the, uh, going to the forward reaction, what essentially is gonna happen is the OH is gonna leave. There's a lot more steps that I'm not drawing in here, but you ended up with a double bonded carbon, with a nitrogen double bonded to the carbon and H2O. Okay, what's the big deal about this? Uh, formation of these imines, they're not electrophilic. They're not like carbonyls. The reason why is if you were to attack with a nucleophile, you're gonna have to push some negative charge onto the nitrogen and oxygen likes negative charge, nitrogen, not so much. So big picture thing, imines, they're stable to hydrolysis. Whenever you see those inside a given drug molecule, you should think it's going to be stable to hydrolysis, okay? Um, but if you were to substitute the imines to give a positive charge on the nitrogen, then nucleophilic attack is going to alleviate or get rid of that positive charge, and that's going to be good. So substituted imines are going to be electrophilic. You do need to have four bonds to the nitrogen, okay? Um, last thing, especially with the iminium ion, if one of the substituents is the H, just be aware that based upon the drug molecule you're looking at and also what the um, pH is, especially physiological pH, because the starting pKa of an iminium ion is about eight to nine, but you can easily lower it and make it more acidic. Um, what can happen is you can deprotonate it at physiological pH, and when you deprotonate it, that's going to take away the electrophilic character of this imine ion, okay? So, well, it's not gonna be an imine ion anymore, it's just going to be an imine. But uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you have an imine and it's not substituted, it's not electrophilic. If the nitrogen is substituted, it can be electrophilic, but if you have hydrogens, those can easily pop off and remove the electrophilic character. All right, so there we have it. That's how nitrogen nucleophiles react with our carbonyl-containing compounds.